Hi guys, hope you are and welcome back and hello if you're new here. My name is Ellis and today I'm sharing with you an Ikea haul. We popped down to Ikea and over here in the UK we are just about to enter into another lockdown. So we've just come back from Ikea and we are in lockdown as of tomorrow. And I asked you guys over on my Instagram, and I'll leave my handle on the screen if you are not over there. Um, but I asked if you guys would want to see an IKEA haul because you can still order online. I believe you can do click and collect and things like that. And it was an overwhelming yes. So I'm going to be sharing you some of the pieces. IKEA have so much nice stuff in. All of this is for my office. However, I would put this on shelving inside my home, but I'm currently homeless. If any of you guys are following along with my moving journey as well, you will know that. Um, but that is a whole nother story. But yeah, I'm gonna be sharing with you some of the pieces I picked up. There are some lovely, lovely tones. There's some lovely wooden bits and the earthy tones. It's very like boho with like a modern, oh, I, I, I'm just gonna show you. But yeah, if you are new around here, I would love for you to click subscribe and I'm gonna jump straight into the video. Okay, so a lot of this is for the shelving and for my office, like I said, but I'm going to start off by showing you some of the bits that I picked up. So the first thing that I picked up these, they're called the La Passa. I will leave everything linked below in the description box. You can head on over and find it yourself. Um, but I wanted some storage boxes. I thought these look really, really sweet. They do some lovely round ones as well. And I saw some, I'm trying to think what they were now, which ones I wanted. I wanted some bigger, bigger ones, which I'm still going to order online, I think. Um, but I loved these as well. I love the tone of them. And there's actually two. So if I open them up, they come with like a lid like this. And if I can ever get them out. So there's actually two different boxes. And I thought they would look really lovely next to each other stacked on the shelves because one is smaller than the other. I thought it'd be a really good place for me to store bits like my memory cards and batteries and bits and bobs like that. Maybe some pens, just like office bits, but you could just leave them empty as decorations. Um, these were really, really affordable, so I will leave everything linked below so you can find them yourself, like I mentioned. I'm really loving like the wooden tones along with like mixtures of black and that at the moment. I think it's a really, really lovely look. Um, and you'll see that's kind of the theme that I'm putting forward in this video. Um, but yeah, love those. Then the next thing that I picked up was this. I don't actually know what this is classed as. I don't know if this is classed as a bowl or like a serving plate. I don't know. But I'm actually planning to have it on my shelf like this, like stood up. And I just think it looks really, really lovely. I know it looks very, very simple. But I think that a load of simple items all collected together can make something look really, really nice. And again, I know this is really, really affordable. It was an extortion amount of money. And I know that I've managed to decorate so many of my shelves for a really affordable amount. And when you look at places like Neptune and loads of other shops like that, what you can get from Ikea, some of the pieces are just stunning. So I've got this as well. This is called, well, it doesn't say what this one's called actually, but I will leave it linked below so you guys can find it. So every time I fall an item out of the bag, I am left with a load of dime bars, obviously. No trip to Ikea is complete without some dime bars, so there are loads that have just fallen. Um, but the next item that I've got to show you is this. Again, I love this. It's really, really affordable. This is just a jug, um, or you could use it as a vase. I'm literally just going to be using it as an or ornamental purpose, um, although I could physically use it as well, and I think it's really, really lovely. Again, this is, I don't even know what this is in terms of material but it's a really decent size and they had this in two sizes as well so i think this was the slightly bigger size i want to say and they also had it in a smaller size but again i really really love the look of this i think it's really really lovely and again gonna look fab then i picked up this little one really really sweet i love this it was like a little milk jar vase type thing i think this looked really really adorable and in ikea i don't know if any of you have seen like it's a it's kind of a trend that's coming back in but I want to say that it's Chinese, but you know the white and blue plates and things like that? They had loads of items like that in Ikea, and I absolutely love that, and I probably would have bought some if I was in my home to decorate my home with, but obviously that's not really the vibe I'm going for in my office, so it would have really, really clashed. And um, They had loads of items like the white and the blues. I'll try and link some of those below for you as well if I can find them, because they were stunning. Um, but yeah, I've got this little jar as well, so I figured that these two next to each other on the shelves and spotted around would look really lovely. 
Another vase that I picked up was this one. Again, I love this. This will probably stay empty on my shelves, but I've seen a few other pieces from H&M that I loved. And I've also picked up another item from HomeSense, which I love. So I'm just gonna kind of decorate them. I have so much stuff in our storage unit right now that I could decorate my shelves with as well, which would be stunning. But this is kind of what I'm dealing with. So um, I really, really love the look of this. There was a couple more vases I want, but I couldn't find them dotted around. But yeah, again, a really lovely vase, a really nice size. Then I picked up this. Now this is in a grey and green colour, so I don't actually think it's going to go on my shelf. I might pop it on my desk. I thought it was really cute. It's like a little succulent. It's called a Pachypitum ovithurum. <laughs> I don't actually know what that's called. Um, but it has like this lovely white tone to it over the green. Um, but it does rub off, so I'm not quite sure if it's just something that kind of grows back. I know nothing. But I thought a little mini plant might look sweet. Um, so yeah, I love that and it was really affordable. Then I picked up this, and I don't know why I love this so much, but I did. I don't know what they're calling it, but it's like this little wooden man that is like on a little sticky thing. And you, <laughs> and you can move them around. They had a hand as well, and I really like the hand. But again, I thought with the wooden tones and stuff like that, it's all going to complement each other really, really nicely. Next up, I had this. Now, this is meant to be a lampshade. I think a bit like that. Um, it's meant to be a lampshade, but again, I love the look of that just standing up. I think if you wanted to, you might have been able to put like a candle in the middle. Obviously, I wouldn't use it with a candle in. Um, but yeah, it's like this gorgeous meshy material, and I think it's going to look really stunning on the shelves. This is called a Luftaza. Luftas? I don't know. Um, but again, I saw this in Ikea, and this was just kind of decorated out on the shelves. There was nothing inside it, and it looked really, really lovely like that. So I kind of stole that, and this is the vibe that I'm going for, with the blacks, the whites, the golds, and the woods. I also then got a really simple pack of two posters, just so I don't ruin my desk. Then I also picked up this really lovely candle. Again, I probably won't use it as a candle, it'll be more for decorational purposes, but it's kind of got like this pine cone thing to it. It's called a scarad. Um, again, I really like that. And now I'm down to my final few pieces, which were a lot bigger. So if any of you looked at my last Ikea haul, you would know that I picked up some gorgeous cushions from Ikea. Not only were they the perfect plumping cushion, but they're really, really comfortable and I really, really love them. So I picked up one almost really, really similar, um, but a slightly longer one. And this is for my office chair, which I'm waiting to arrive. I have a desk and I'm not quite sure if I like it or not, but stay tuned because I have like an office tour and reveal video coming very very soon and you can see how we decorate it um, it won't be completely finished but you'll be able to see loads of the items that I picked up and um, I thought this was a really really lovely cushions and I love Ikea's cushions then again I picked up this rug now I'm not going to get it all out because it's really hard to show you but I will either insert some clips of what it looks like or alternatively I will link it or share a picture on the screen of what it looks like um, but it's lovely it's called the, the low house Love house, it's called a love house rug, um, and it's like a jute rug. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with it. I wanted one of these for our new house, and I thought it would look really, really lovely on the floor. Obviously, not on new rugs, but um, I thought it would look really, really lovely on the floor. However, um, we haven't moved yet, and then my mother in law, we just got her one at the same time, and it is absolutely stunning. So, I know this is going to look lovely down. And then the last few other bits I actually picked up from Ikea was a gorgeous mirror. I'll insert some shots of it. It is absolutely stunning. It's a full length wide mirror, really, really affordable, like £45. And then I also picked up some bookcases. Now they're the Billy bookcases. Now, my plan is when we move out of this office space, if I move out of it and I don't actually need it any longer, then you can actually make these look built in and they look stunning. Obviously, I won't be doing that here because we don't have the time and I don't want to be hammering into walls and stuff like that. But in my home office, if I ever move it across, these will look stunning there as well. So I'm really, really excited for that. Okay, guys, well, that is my IKEA haul. I hope you've enjoyed it, seeing some of the bits they have in. Like I mentioned, I will try and link everything below for you so you can pick up some bargains yourself. There were some other bits that I wanted to grab, but I've just kind of resisted a little bit and tried not to spend too much. Um, but let me know if you've seen any other items that you think may look really, really nice. If you have liked this video, I would love for you to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new, and I will see you all in another video coming very shortly. Bye, guys. I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you, wondering if you're thinking about me too, now it's too late, now it's too late.